Hey, Ty, just uh, this is your first run where you know you're going to be starting for a long stretch, and you also are coming off a rough patch. Just how good did it feel to get out there with that group and, and find success tonight? Uh, I just felt good. Felt, I mean, uh, got in the gym yesterday, went to the practice gym, got shots up. Uh, just felt like I kind of got the lid off the rim a little bit. Um, I just felt like I got my, my, my swagger back, just got – you know, felt like back in rhythm, like I just, I just felt good. So it uh, feels good to, you know, win a game and also play well. And uh, hopefully we can, you know, continue this, build off this and keep winning basketball games. Sean Cunningham. Ty, you um, obviously got smacked in the face pretty good by Alex Lynn. Looked like it was kind of still bothering you there. How, how are you feeling? And was that, did, it, did your contact come out? It looked like it was kind of tough to uh, kind of shake that one off. Yeah, yeah. My contact came out. <laughs> I saw I was seeing like two rims at first, like I it was like blurry. Um, but uh, yeah, once I got got it back in, I felt I felt good. But yeah, it's just a little bruise. It's a little red, but I'll be all right. They gave me a new contact, so I'm all good. I gotta get some LASIK eye surgery after the year. Um, Jason Jones. Yeah, Ty, what does it do for you guys? Uh, this, I don't know if confidence is the right word, that you didn't have the best offensive fourth quarter, but you guys were still able to hold it together and, and pull out a win. Yeah, I mean, any way you can win <laughs> yeah, is a good day, you know, no matter how you do it. Um, obviously, you want to clean things up, make it look better, feel better about it. But at the end of the day, you know, we'll, we'll take a take a win. Uh, and then we'll take an ugly win before we take a pretty loss. So, um, you know, I'm just glad that, you know, we got a win. Uh, felt like we have, we felt like, you know, we, we should have won the last game. Felt like the last two games we, we, we could have played better. So it feels good to get a win. And now we just got to uh, build on this as we head into a, you know, a tough back to back. Um, Matt George. Hey, Ty. Uh, tonight, team as a whole did something that you've been doing a lot during uh, your rookie season, getting a lot of deflections on the the defensive end. Was that something with the scouting report against this Wizards team that you felt those passing lanes would be available? Or is that the kind of identity, you know, this team wants to have on the defensive end? Well, you know, we, I just felt like we were kind of playing faster. Um, you know, if we're going to go out there and play three guards with me, Buddy, and De'Aaron, then we know we got to get the ball up and down and play play faster. You know, we talk about playing fast, but we're really not playing as fast as we have the capability to. So, feels good to come out here and run and get out in transition. Obviously, it helps when you're getting live ball turnovers and getting stops. That that obviously helps us a lot. So uh, just playing with our, our arms out. Obviously, they like to play fast as well. Um, you know, they don't run a bunch of plays. They just are a lot of concepts and things like that. So it uh, just felt good to get some stops, get some turnovers, force some turnovers, and uh, get out and run. Tony Harvey. Hey, Tyrese, um, we talked to uh, Coach Walton about this at the beginning of the game, about, you know, other fellas <clears throat> for the Kings stepping up. And, uh, of course, with you know, with you moving into the starting lineup, it seemed like Justin James came in there and gave you guys a good spark. Um, could you talk a little bit, you can give commentary on his, his game tonight, and you working with him, you know, for the past three or four months. What do you think of him? Yeah, you know, uh, you know, J.J. was balling. You know, I think the biggest thing for, uh, you know, our bench unit, we haven't been scoring well. Um, you know, when I was when I was coming off the bench, you know, for the second half of the year and, you know, as the as the uh, end of the first half. So it's good to, you know, have another a guy come in and give us, you know, a spark like that. You know, obviously, uh, you know, he knows along with uh, all the guys that, you know, we come off the bench that, you know, you got to be ready when your number is called. You know, you never know when it's going to be called. You never know what the situation is going to be. So he answered the bell today, played really well, uh, brought some defensive intensity um, and, and played well offensively. So, um, you know, I didn't know too much about J.J. coming into this. I mean, I don't – I didn't watch Wyoming play basketball. <laughs> but, uh, you know, obviously I think he's a really good player and uh, been getting along with him really well. So we're, we're pretty close. Uh, Jason Anderson. Hey, Ty, nice game, man. Congrats on the win. Um, you know, obviously that group you started today, um, you guys have time together. You're like plus 13 and a half on the season, uh, closed a lot of games together. How much does that familiarity help now with this transition? And, you know, what What do you – what's interesting to you about that group and, and what do you think you guys can do and, and make your identity? Yeah, I mean, 
you know, we've we've been kind of closing games, you know, for most of the year together. That 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 starting five, or that the now our current starting five. Um, you know, we've we've kind of been finishing games. So, uh, you know, we obviously have you know some pretty pretty good chemistry. Um, you know, I think what makes us ha- hard to guard is that you got three guys offensively that are ready to run, and uh, you know, HB is kind of that small ball four mismatch four. Uh, if you put somebody small on them, he's gonna take them in the post. Put somebody too big on him, he's just gonna go by him. So. Uh, you know, I think HB impacts it a lot. And then, uh, you know, Rich is kind of the anchor down there, uh, blocking shots, grabbing rebounds, you know, kind of just, you know, being our guy, you know, down low. So I think that's what makes us, uh, you know, makes that, that that group pretty special. And obviously we have some chemistry together. So, uh, you know, just, you know, it's unfortunate what happened to Marvin. You know, we, it sucks for him. We, we hate that for him, uh, you know, but, you know, we got to be ready to, you know, keep it going and, and uh, win some games without him. All right, uh, just a couple more. Uh, Crystal Saltis. Hello, Therese. Congratulations on the win. How important for you was to bounce back after two losses, two straight losses, and uh, to win a game that you control it tonight uh, from, from the beginning of that? And also, for you, how enjoyable is to share the court with DA? With who? De'Aaron Fox, DA. Oh, um, yeah. No, I mean, for... For uh, for me, like on the second part of your question, sharing the Cordier, you know, obviously he's very special. Uh, you know, I've I've said from the minute I knew I was coming here that uh, I knew that me and him could you know be special together, and I could you know really see my fit with him. So uh, you know, we just keep getting closer and closer as the days go on, and uh, we're just we're playing better right now. So uh, that's helping. And then you know, it always feels good to win. Um, you know, obviously we've been we've been struggling the last couple of games. I've been. You're really struggling, so it, it felt good to get a win, play play decent, and you know we just got to build off of this. Jim Conley. Uh, hi, uh, Tyrese. Uh, happy St. Patrick's Day, uh, Tyrese. In terms of uh, defending, uh, we all know about your scoring proficiency, but coming up against John uh, Bradley Beal and Russell Westbrook there tonight, does that really excite you in your rookie season, having to defend two elite guards, uh, d- d- two elite guards? Yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, the NBA, obviously, you played against, you know, the best players on a, on like a night, night out basis. So um, to play against, you know, Brad and, and, uh, and, and Russ, like it's special, you know, like I've looked up to Russ, you know, a lot of my life and, uh, you know, as I have a lot of these NBA players. So uh, it's awesome to share four with them and, uh, you know, it's awesome to, you know, feel like I belong.